Welcome everybody back to the Friar Talk podcast and YouTube channel. Today we are going to be recapping the national series. Um, ended off spectacular. I went to the every game except for Tuesday night. So pretty early on on that Thursday game, I was a little bit frustrated. Uh, I think I texted Chase and Isaac. Uh, just I think they could tell I was a little bit frustrated. Isaac, I think every time I went, I got a text in the second inning from you. I'm sorry, Matt. Um, but it ended off spectacular. I got to see one of the coolest comebacks I've ever watched. Probably the best sporting event I've ever watched in terms of the actual game. Uh, that was amazing. Uh, you got to see Camarena come in, relief pitcher, grand slam, uh, something you don't get to see every day. And then you got to see Trent Grisham. We've talked about how much we like Trent Grisham. Uh, he walks it off in the ninth after a amazing catch by Jake Cronenworth. Um, and, and the series was really rocky. I think this was probably... I'm pretty concerned right now with just the state of this team, but you see the heart, you see how San Diego is kind of turning into a baseball town. So I think overall you definitely leave on a positive note after coming back down eight zero and to win the game nine, eight on a walk off. Uh, but I'll let you start chase. What are just your overall thoughts on this series after, you know, a very rocky, some very rocky outing from our starting pitchers. Yeah. Honestly, looking back at the series, you're like, wow, we kind of lost this series, but then you look at it and we're like, wait, we split. It was just because the lows were so much lower than the highs, except for the last game. You had like Weathers, and you're like, okay, he had an okay start from Weathers. He didn't go the greatest. Darvish had a rough start. We're just going to slip over Paddock because I really don't want to bring that up right now. That was, that was too, words cannot describe the massacre that that was. And then you see like the resurgence of like Will Myers. Eric Hosmer had a clutch hit, but that doesn't make up for everything else he's done. And like, and you're like, wow, this this starting pitching ever since the uh, the sticky band is kind of very hit or miss. They either have like a really good outing or it's a very short outing, and they get absolutely massacred, and the bullpen is left to salvage the rest of the game. But we did win two. We had a great game yesterday. After I checked my phone because I was cooking dinner, and I was like, well, it's eight to zero already. Don't think I'll turn on this. I'm going to skip it. And then I come back. Daniel Camarena hits a two run or not. Um, it's a grand slam. And you're just like, you know what? We're back in this. It was a weird series, but you know what? Hey, I'd rather split, even though it felt like a loss, but we split. Yeah. Um, how about the most underdog story that I've probably ever heard of? A kid from Bonita, California, who's a journeyman in the major leagues, been in the or major leagues, sorry, minor leagues been down in the minors for around 10 years, comes up in his first at-bat, has to face Max Scherzer, one of the greatest pitchers, one of the best pitchers now, possibly ever. And he hits a grand slam. Uh, and I don't even know how he hit that pitch. That pitch almost hit the floor. And he ropes it. So to me, you know, for I think for a lot of people, it's going to be known as, oh, man, you know, that was one of the greatest Padre comebacks ever. Like, I can't believe that happened. For me, that's always going to be known as the Daniel Camarena game. And I think that's what it should be for every Padre fan. That should be the Daniel Camarena game, you know, because from San Diego, he didn't, you know, I don't think he expected to go up there at all. I don't think he expected to see an at-bat at all this year. And, you know, with this whole family there, I think everyone saw their family's reaction. Um, it was just, it was such a cool moment. It was one of the coolest things that I've seen as a Padre fan. Um, and I know I just kind of went a little, you know, glorifying Daniel Camarena, but he he absolutely deserves it. But in terms of this this uh, this series, it was a very rocky series. Definitely felt like a roller coaster of emotions where you were very frustrated at one point with the starting pitching. You were very frustrated because they weren't, you know, able to keep up with the with the hitting of the Nationals. And we can't blame the lineup. Like Joe Musgrove allowed five. Ryan Weathers had a rocky start. You Darvish, of all people, had a really rocky start. Chris Paddock looked absolutely horrendous and got booed off the field. And, you know, and I'm not going to say Chris Paddock deserved to get booed off the field, but you need to put up, you know, you need to put up a better start than that. Especially, you can't be this inconsistent considering you're the fourth or fifth starting pitcher. You know, the comments you've made in the past, um, the confidence that the organization has put in you, that the fan base, I have put a lot of trust and faith into Chris Paddock that he'd be able to turn it around. He's had some amazing starts for sure, and I'll give him a bunch of credit, but you can't, you, you can't be so inconsistent to where now we're thinking – ship off Chris Paddock. You need to be that fourth or fifth starter where at most you'll give up five runs because when you give up seven or eight runs, your, your team's already out of the game. Your job as a starting pitcher is to keep your team in the game. 
And um, I don't really feel like any of the starting pitchers did that. Um, maybe Ryan Weathers, I guess, at, at, at in some extent. Um, but this lineup, Chase, you absolutely brought it up. Will Myers, I'm going to give all the credit in the world to Will Myers right now because I've slandered him. And I, I never hate Will Myers. I've never hated Will Myers. I still like Will Myers. And I want, I want him to turn around genuinely. And now he's batting over 300 in his last seven games, really starting to find his footing this season. And it's so good to see because we want to see that guy win. But very a roller coaster of emotions this series. Um, I feel like we're lucky enough to split it. Um, but the talent of this team is there, and the starting pitching needs to find their footing here real soon. Yeah, absolutely. And all your stuff about Camarena, I think that's great. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, Scherzer had never allowed a home run to any pitcher before. That was the first time in his entire career that that happened. So I thought it was amazing. Um, and also the pitch was nasty. Like you said, Isaac, I have no idea how he hit it. Um, I was in left field. So you still see that the ball's going out immediately off the contact because it got lasered. Like he smoked that thing. Uh, it went 416 feet, I believe. It was this, I think it was the second farthest hit of the day uh, besides Tatis's. So he comes up there. Um, and if you guys follow us on Twitter, I tweeted out, I had a tweet typed out. I was like, they're not pinch hitting him. Like I'm at the game. Come on, Tangler. Like it was, it was kind of like a joke, but I was like, dude, I'm here. Like, like, and I understood it because I was like, all right, they, they don't have guys to eat up innings. That's what they're doing. But I was like, one hit can change this game. And then of course he hits a grand slam, which was just, it was so cool. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I didn't, I didn't leave that game. Uh, I honestly, I didn't, no one, nobody around me left. I will say that every, all the Padre fans stayed the whole time. Um, and that was something really special. You talked about the starting pitching a little bit. We will definitely get into that. Uh, our episode on Saturday is really going to be just about our concerns with the starting pitching because I, I tweeted this out and I still feel the same way, I, even though after the win, this is the most concerned point I've been in the whole season. Even when they were slumping a few weeks ago, it was like, okay, they're slumping because they're not hitting. They're going to turn around. They're going to hit. But since the sticky stuff has changed, um, and this was, this was I think, 15 days ago. So this was after the paddock start. So this was before last before Darvish's start last night. There was a stat that said over the past 15 days, which is not exactly when the sticky stuff got banned, but pretty close. It was they are the least amount of innings pitched by starting pitching and they've allowed the most or the second most earned runs. That is a recipe for disaster right there. Like that is atrocious. Um do they have guys that can turn around? Yes. Darvish and Musgrove are the are the clear one and two for this team. We haven't seen much of Blake Snell lately and I know he hasn't been, you know, amazing, but he's even though he has not had like his best year he's still been like a, a decent option. You know what I mean? So like, it's not like, oh, like they haven't been at full strength. That is fair. Lamette's been out. Paddock had, had in that 15 days, has had two really, really bad outings, which yes, he's had a couple of them, but I think that's kind of an outlier for the whole staff when you look at it that way. But still, that's the problem. And the other problem is that maybe a month ago, maybe it was two weeks ago around that range, we were discussing that the pitching needs to step it up. They need to start going deeper in the games. And it's been the exact opposite. So we'll get into all that stuff tomorrow in a lot more in depth. But I think that's the big concerns from a hitting perspective. Amazing series for this lineup. You you brought up Hosmer. Machado is red hot. They intentionally walked Machado felt like 10 times this series. Um, they had wanted no part of him. Everyone started chanting Manny last night when he came up. And then they intentionally walked him. I was like, oh, my God, I cannot believe they. I mean, it was obvious they were going to do it. But it was just such a bummer because he comes up like, all right, this is guaranteed. He's bringing them home like. He's been so clutch this year. Um, you have Tatis hit two absolute rockets this series. Um, Fam, Fam had an excellent game yesterday. He's been he's been really good. Pretty much the whole lineup has looked really good. Myers looking fantastic over the last week. So uh, even Caratini had a couple base a couple knocks as well. So like the entire lineup looked really good this series. You put up five runs, seven runs, five runs, and then nine runs. That that's great. And and even in the the Wednesday game, like oh they put up five runs. It could have looked a lot different if you don't go down, what is it, 8-0, 10-0. Like, that really deflates your chances that, you know, you pull Machado early. Like, so that's kind of where I'm at there. But anything else you guys want to add before we kind of take off out of this after this recap? Um, Yeah, just, you know, all hail Daniel San Marina, obviously. Um, but – we're lucky to get out of the series 2-2. Hopefully the starting pitching comes around. Tati, you brought up Tatis, hit some missiles, threw a ball 96 miles per hour. Um, Manny's still playing that gold, 
Gold Glove defense. Jay Cronenworth's underrated defense. So, Chase? Yeah, I was going to shout out Jay Cronenworth and, you know, Tati's defying physics, but he started to mention that for me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing defense. Absolutely great to see this lineup. You know, they're raking right now. Raked off Max Scherzer, put up six runs off Max Scherzer. I, I don't think any of us thought that would happen. Uh, going to that game, I think we all thought this is going to be a, p- a pitching duel. Well, it ended up 9-8 to eight in the Padres' favor. So, fun series. You know, roller coaster of emotions, like I said earlier, but fun series. Yeah, that was uh, the first game I've gone to with my girlfriend to Petco Park. And I thought, like, all right, just so you know, like, there's probably not going to be a lot of run scored. It's probably not going to be a super eventful game today. I was completely wrong. <laughs> Literally one of the most insane games all season long. So it, it was funny that that was the case. And, and after the game, she's like, oh, I, I thought you said that there wasn't going to be a lot of runs. And she was messing with me about it. So it, it was always good. But amazing series. I, I mean, if you leave this, like, after kind of watching the beginning, leaving it to you is great. So. I think that's going to do it for the segment, though, and we will talk to you guys more about the pitching tomorrow.